Hey guys, I'm back with another video. This one's going to be three parts. Uh, the first part, I'm going to talk about what aging is. Every day you're getting older. So now you've seen me grow up. Isn't it weird watching someone age? What do you think I'd look like when I'm older? Hello, it is me, Brittany, from 40 years in the future. You never eat or drink anything. It's like you're from a different time. How old are you? I know what you are. You're a vampire. Isn't it strange that humans have always had myths about creatures that were similar to humans but could live for centuries without showing any signs of aging? Things like vampires or beasts like Frankenstein that were put together from some mad scientist and able to live forever. These immortal beings link to an innate human curiosity about aging. Why do we age? Why aren't we immortal? What is aging? Well, aging is defined in a change in human beings over time, from a young baby to an elder person. But your cells also age over time. Aging is defined as a decreased function and an increased susceptibility to death. This is usually because of age-related diseases. Aging happens at a cellular level. Your body is made up of cells and they are the smallest unit of you. There are several different things within your cells that mark aging. The first one has to do with DNA, which we talked about in a previous video. DNA is a genetic molecule inside your cells that tells them what to do and codes for you. The first hallmark of aging is genomic instability, meaning that your DNA isn't as stable when you're older. Another hallmark of aging is telomere attrition. Every time your cells divide, they lose a little bit of DNA at the ends, but they have telomeres to protect them from losing important genes. Telomeres are like the plastic on the ends of your shoelaces. They protect your shoelace from fraying. However, after your cells divide lots of times, your telomeres start to wear out, similar to old shoelaces. Then, when your cells divide further, important DNA can be lost. If DNA is like a code, the epigenome is what parts of that code are read. And as you age, the epigenome changes, meaning that parts of DNA that shouldn't be read are read, or parts of DNA that should be read are not. Proteins help cells carry out functions, so loss of proteostasis means there would be issues with forming proteins correctly, and the cell wouldn't be able to carry out its function. Another hallmark is deregulated nutrient sensing. This means the cell has a hard time recognizing and responding to fuel. Mitochondrial dysfunction is also an issue as you get older, because the mitochondria are what generate energy for your cells. So cellular senescence is when you need to kill cells that aren't working properly. This stops tumors from forming. Stem cells give rise to many cells of the same type. For example, skin stem cells would be able to produce new skin cells. The last hallmark of aging is altered intercellular communication. All of the cells that make up your body need to be able to communicate with each other so you can function. And if they're not able to properly communicate with each other, this can create a lot of issues at the cellular level. All of these things are what happen inside your cells and what result in you aging.
These changes in aging within your cells can result in age-related diseases like cancer when your cells divide unchecked, cardiac dysfunction when there's issues with your heart, stem cell decline, so not being able to produce new cells, neurodegeneration and cognitive decline, so issues with your brain, muscular degeneration, weakening of the muscles, retinal dysfunction, issues with the kidney or the urinary tract, and immune decline, so issues with your immune system. Aging is pretty strange, but it's something that impacts all of us. Our bodies stop working as well over time, and we're more prone to these age-related diseases. But wouldn't it be amazing if we could somehow slow down aging or age better? Well, there are some ways we can do this, and that's what I'll be talking about in the next video. How to extend your lifespan. Keep an eye out for part two. Bye! God, videos are hard. Making words make sense. How do I talk? This is what I look like now. Except my hands are still young. Hello. It is me, Brittany, from 20 years. Well, maybe not. Maybe more than that. If I look like this when I'm 44, that'd be rough. Ooh. <laughs>